Okay. I have decided. Fuck this. Fuck this. I can't. Health, SP, required. I can't. Ah. It's taken three days. Three in game days to do this bullshit. I've got to leave, get my shit back, come back tomorrow. What the fuck is this goddamn motherfucking. Ah. Uh. I did a bit of grinding. Not enough. But. I have gripes. I have gripes that have become apparent. One, the the one physical type, so it's not slash, pierce, and all that. It's just physical. Just do not like that. Because if an enemy's, if an enemy can repel physical, and you have no SP, which is what happens when you grind a lot. Yeah, you, yeah. There's no winning this fight. You just gotta leave it. You just gotta leave. That's not fun at all. I skipped that shit. My friendship with someone went up. Uh, I don't like how there are no minor arcana cards. No minor arcana. I don't like that. I was like, oh, okay. We're going to replace minor arcana with cards that make it so you get nothing. No XP. No money. No drops. And they're gonna be a majority. They're gonna be a fucking majority. Of sh of the cards you're gonna get in the shuffle time. Okay. Fine. Fuck me then. It's just... Uh, <sighs> I just... I, I don't know. It's not a lot, but it's those. It's just those. Bothersome. Like hey, hey, you know, you know, the arcana that helped. They got either weapons, XP, health, or money along the way that helped you a little bit. Yeah, those don't exist. Now you get fucking nothing. That's not. That's not great. There's a single fucking physical type, which can be rather bothersome because if someone repels physical damage in general, no one can attack him without using SP. Fucking screen went black again. Okay. I just say, ah, ah. That's all I can say. Just. Uh. I don't know if there was a difficulty spike this, like extreme, this early on in Persona 3. But, oh fucking god. That time is a lie. That time is a lie. I'm not counting, he doesn't count all of the times where I've died and had to go back and I've lost time. I've been playing this game probably for about 10 hours now. Ooh. Ooh. Ten hours, and I'm only relatively confident about fighting Yukiko. Is that good? I don't think so. I highly doubt it. I'm not gonna lie, I looked up like how people would suggest doing this boss fight and I, 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 I learned that this boss fight is such bullshit that in Persona 4 Golden they have to, they had to give this boss a weakness because of just the sheer amount of bullshit that takes place here. They gave this boss a weakness because it's bullshit. Think about that. Think about what that implies.
Will that work on you? I doubt it, but I hope so. Nope, okay. Shoot him a boo food. Shoot him a boo food. Okay, I'm level 18 by the way. I grind, I ground all the way up to level 18 for everyone. Also, I've got a dude who knows fucking fire, so that should be helpful. Yeah, yeah, fuck you. I did not expect that to work that well. That's quite surprising. Okay, fucking okay, we might have a chance here. I... Ah, oh, fuck. Fucking media, heal everyone. This fucking fight has killed my spirit. I'm also not sure how I feel about knocking people down, not doing anything unless you make them dizzy. I'm not I'm not sure how I feel about that. Like it's helpful, but at the same time it's like Fuck it fucks with the strategy that I've come to know. It fucks with the strategy that I've I've like built my combat knowledge off of. Fucking good. Fucking good. Oh my god. I physically hurt. <sighs> Yukiko! Yukiko, are you hurt? No, I'm not. We understand. You're not the only one like that, Yukiko-san. Everyone has something they can't show to other people, or don't want to admit to themselves. Yukiko, I I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I was so self-centered that I, I never understood what you were going through. I'm your friend, and I still... Oh, I am so sorry. Chie. I was always jealous of you, Yukiko. This took fucking three in-game days for me to pull off. Fucking Jesus. You had everything that I didn't. That jealousy was like a wall and, and I was so lonely. I wanted you to need me. 
was me who needed you. I can't do anything right on my own. I've caused so much trouble for Yosuke and the others. If you, if you weren't by my side, I, I, I wouldn't know what to do. Chie. I never saw the real you either. I was too busy trying to find an easy way out. I want to run away. I want someone to save me. You're right. Those feelings are part of me too. I understand now. You're me. Just get your persona so we can fucking leave this castle. I'm done. Oh, that looks fancy. Konohano Sakiya. I'm g I'm getting Okami flashbacks. Yukiko. Are you okay? Yes, I'm just a little tired. You all came to rescue me. <laughs> of course. And I regretted it many times. This took three in-game fucking days to do. My fucking word. <laughs> right on. So, who threw you in here? Rather, what are you? I'm Teddy! So who threw you in? I don't know. I think... someone called my name. But my memory is a blur. I can't remember who it was. I'm sorry... um... Teddy? No new clues. Not necessarily. Now we know for sure that someone threw Yukiko-san in here. Hmm. And it really isn't you guys. I always believed it wasn't you guys. <laughs> you little... You're one long sack of honey. Uh, anyways... Let's hurry back home. Yukiko looks exhausted. Thanks again, Teddy. <laughs> Wait, you're leaving me here? Leaving you? What are you talking about? You live here. Well, yeah, but... I'm sorry, Teddy. I promise to come again. So be a good boy and wait here until then. Oh my fucking god. Okay. <laughs> Alright. My, it's getting crowded here. Why don't you and I go somewhere else? Come on, pretty please. Ah, you're giving me the creeps. That's it, you're stuck here for the rest of your life. <laughs> Okay, okay, despite the anger, the seething rage that's boiling beneath me. Now, okay, that, that was that was a fun little scene. Yukiko, are, are you alright? You're not hurt anywhere, are you? No, I'm just a little tired. I'm sorry, but I don't remember anything. 
Well, no worries. You're safe, and that's more than enough. But there's no mistake that Yukiko-san was, um, attacked the same way as the last two victims. And I think the one we saw on the Midnight Channel wasn't the real Yukiko-san, but her shadow. Maybe the things Yukiko-san was suppressing in this world took form in the TV. That's possible. And that's why she got drawn in. You know, Teddy was saying something like that. <sighs> it's no use. I'm just going round and round in circles. What kind of person could be doing this? Let's call it a day. We're done. Okay. Yeah, we can go over it some other day. Yukiko really needs to get some rest. I'll take her home. Oh, that's right. Sorry. Yukiko-san must be exhausted. We'll talk about all this some more once she gets her strength back. He hasn't been home in fucking days. Um, hello. Hi there. We got off work at the same time, so I'm giving him a ride back to his place. I thought we might as well swing by. Nice to meet you. I'm Adachi, the guy who's been your dad's slave since spring. I can still work you harder, you know. <laughs> A good one, sir. <laughs> uh. Oh, I almost forgot. You're friends with Yukiko Amagi, right? They found her safe and sound. Tell all your friends at school. Yeah, for us on the force, too. But, this doesn't mean the case is closed, though. We were just questioning Miss Amagi. But she says she doesn't remember anything that happened while she was missing. And we can't figure out her whereabouts during the missing period, either. It's like she really disappeared. It's all pretty fishy, if you ask me. Like there's something else going on. Is he gonna be the guy that, like, clues onto this? And, like, helps us out and stuff? Is he gonna be the guy? Because everyone else is so, like, set in the whole cop procedure. But he's going to be like, hey, listen. Wait, wait a minute. These kids are onto something. Ow! Stop blabbering, dumbass. Sorry. Ignore him. He's just spouting some wild fantasy. Don't worry. The police aren't common hazy to believe everything they hear. He's just muttering to himself. Don't take it seriously. I'm hungry. <laughs> You're right. My stomach's growling too. <laughs> so you do have a softer side around Nanako-chan, sir. Why is his daughter? Shut up and sit down. And wash those hands first. I should do the same. Due to the weekend rainfall, clear skies seem unlikely in the area. A thick fog is expected to set in tonight and remain until tomorrow morning, with heaviest concentration in the Inaba area. Anyone planning to go out tonight should take care. Now for our hourly weather breakdown. More fog, huh? There's been a lot of that lately. 
Hopefully it's not a sign of more trouble. Uh, uh, uh. What did I say about changing the channel without asking? Have a great day, even during Golden Week at your local No, Tunis. don't do this to me. Come see for yourself. Don't do this to me. With our products. Every day's great at your Tunis. Every day's great at your Tunis. Why? During Golden Week. I'm still not sure what Golden Week is. <laughs> I heard. Do you want to go somewhere during the long holiday? Like I remember looking it up, and I've forgotten. <laughs> we can go somewhere. How about it? Got any plans yet? Uh, no. Why do you like Juna so much? It's just a department store. <laughs> you sure you want to go to Juness? We can go there anytime. Come on, girl. Time for bed. It's late. Alright. Every day's great at your Juness. Oh my god, I want to protect that smile so much. That's a smile I pledged, like, fuck, I'm talking Civ 5 levels pledged to protect. Is no one here? Check the fridge. Sure. Okay. I had planned to save because I'm done for the day. I planned to save. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Now let me save. Cause we're, we're done. We're done, lads. Okay. Fine, we keep going for one more day, then we're done. Oh, good morning. Yeah, I'll be coming to school again, so that'll be nice. I caused everyone some real trouble. You fucking did. And that's why you're better than fucking Yukari. You've made trouble, you instantly apologize. No. Sorry isn't quite right. What I mean to say is thank you. Infinitely better than Yukari already. I'm just saying. I got really close to the mic when I did that. My mother's back to work already. The maids are being really supportive, and I think things are going even smoother than before. Well, that's great to hear. I wonder if I was trying too hard. Probably. 
I may have been too caught up in the idea that I had to do everything myself. I want to point out, I started playing this at about 11 o'clock in the morning. 11 o'clock in the morning or so, maybe a bit before. It is now 11 o'clock at night. I've been playing this for 12 hours. Ever since the incident, I feel like I can think about these things more calmly. I, gr I spent a lot more time grinding than I thought I did. Because I have like 9 hours on record now. And there were many, many attempts to fight the boss. And there were many, many times where I forgot to save after grinding some. So, yeah, I've been playing for about 12 hours now. I feel myself dying. You killed me, you, you killed me, Yukiko. You literally killed me. But it's still kind of embarrassing. You guys saw everything, even the things I didn't want to admit. Speaking of which, about them lace, about them lace unmentionables. Do you just casually have those? Do you put, like, is, was that like your inner side wanting to have those, or do you just casually wear those, like under your yukata? You could, you cut. No, it's a yukata. Do you casually just wear them? Like a little personal rebellion? Like no one will know, but you'll know, and that's enough. I feel like that. I feel like that's a thing. That's a thing like girls like raised like this would do. Like wear wear lingerie underneath like their all their normal outfit. No one else will know, but they'll know, and that's all that counts. I could be completely wrong, but you know. I'd like to believe that. Yukiko! Oh, it's Tia. Well, I'll talk to you later. S-Link? S-Link? Huh. Surprisingly not. Surprisingly not. The only- wow. Fucking rude. Alright, so what, what teacher are you? That's rude. What do you want from me? I'm not sure I understand the question. Which of the following is the highest mountain in the solar system? Fiji, Everest, Olympus. Why solar system? And I'm 98% sure it's Everest. Is Olympus, actually is Olympus a real mountain? I've actually never looked into that. Like, I'm aware that Olympus, you know, stretches forth to the gods and shit, but like, is Olympus a real mountain? Let me quickly Google that, actually. Is Olympus a real mountain? Because I've only ever heard it mentioned in the old, like, Roman legends, in, or, or no, not Roman, Greek legends. Is Mount Olympus an actual mountain? Mount Olympus is the highest mountain in Greece. Well, there we go. There is it. You know what? I need to know now. Why so- I'm gonna Google it again. Why solar system? Why solar system? Which of the following is the highest mountain in the solar system. 
why I like how I just googled which is the yeah which of the following is the highest M and mounting in the solar system was the first thing that came up take your time laptop off. Fuck off. The answer's a... The answer's a joke. It's a joke answer. It's Olympus. Not because actual height, but because Mars. A god who lives on Olympus is called Mars. It's a, it's a stupid... It's a stupid joke. Oh my god, about celestial bodies and shit. Okay. I never would have got that. There we go. There's a Mount Olympus on Mars. And also, Mars on Mount Olympus. That's... Oh my... I'll give it to you. As a teacher, that's a good question. But you fucking asshole, to expect me to get that right. Wow, okay. Okay, game. You win, I guess. Sorry to keep you waiting. The sub was yours, right, Chie? Thanks! Oh, that smells good! All these instant noodles are just the thing to help me through club. Uh, how much longer do I have to wait on this? It still needs a few minutes. So, why are we here? Oh yeah, we were gonna ask you, Kiko, what happened? Yukiko-san, I hate to bring up stuff you'd rather not think about, but I need to ask you again. Did you recall anything about when you got kidnapped? No. I thought I might remember something if I let it sit for a while, but as time passes, it only gets hazier. I think... The doorbell rang at the entrance, and someone called for me. But when I woke up after that, I was already in the castle. I'm sorry. No need to apologize. But does this mean her visitor is the culprit? I don't know. If it's true, then that's one daring criminal. What kind of killer would ring the doorbell? The police are probably looking for witnesses, but I don't think we can expect much from them. <laughs> As if the culprit wore bright yellow clothes at the scene of the crime. I wonder why whoever it is would do stuff like this. We won't know until we confront them ourselves. But we can be sure of one thing. It's no coincidence that people keep ending up in that place. Someone on our side is definitely kidnapping them and throwing them into the TV. It's murder, all right. Oh yeah, we never told you. This guy and me are gonna catch the culprit ourselves. The police are out of their league on this case, but we got personas. Huh? Um... I'm helping out too. I can't believe someone would throw people into a place like that. I'm gonna sock whoever's doing this. Chie. Let me help too. And now we have an actual party. I want to know why this is happening. As 
especially if someone hates me so much they want to kill me. I don't want to run away from myself anymore. All right. Then let's all work together and catch this asshole! Agreed. And full level 2. Now every S-Link is level 2 apart from Chie. Oh, but how are we going to find them? We don't have a single lead yet. Midnight Channel was the only thing we have. I'm the third one to be targeted so far, but I have a feeling this isn't the end of it. Yeah, but why? What connects you all? We found yeah, the first person, we have no idea why they were targeted. Second person, found the body of the first person. You, first person will stay now you're in. So who's next? Someone who's friends with you? So one of these three chuckle fucks? It's about it, really. If it goes down the chain, that's all the connection I can think of. If we had an idea of who might be targeted next, wouldn't we have an advantage over the killer? So we'll out. So let's see if we can figure out what ties the victims together. First, there was that announcer, Mayumi Yamano. Second was Saki Konishi, Senpai. Third was Yukiko Amagi. What do they all have in common? Women. Bingo. How dare he target females? Now that is unforgivable. This culprit's got to be some kind of pervert. I... <laughs> Perversion has nothing to do with it. I'm just saying. There's no there's no clear indication that that's the reason. That that's the descriptor we go by. Also, what about this? The second and third victims had some sort of connection to the first one. Hey, that's right. Yukiko and Saki Senpai both had connections to that announcer. That's true. Then, does that mean females connected in some way to Miss Yamano's case are being targeted? I think that's a safe assumption for now. There's another angle we can take too. If another person disappears... You think they'd be on that midnight channel? That happened right before Yukiko was kidnapped too! Yeah, it's hard to tell who at first. But what's important is, it's happened before the victims disappeared. Kinda like a ransom note. We still don't know why that happens, but we'll have to rely on it for now. The next time it rains. By the way, aren't those done by now? Ciao time! Are those basically just pot noodle? Hey, could I try just a little bit of that? Just one tiny bite? Oh! Hey, hands off the soba, pal! Go get your own if you want some. Uh, okay, but just one bite. Got it. He's gonna take the whole thing. Do you want to try some? Yeah, right, why not? I'm gonna chow down, so I'd just be rude. It's so good! The aroma, the flavor, and the texture all combined. This is perfect! You ate everything! 
my fried tofu. Oh god, why why you got why you gotta make her? Why you gotta make her sad? It's sad and she's sad. I hope you guys understand what this means. S link reversed? I'm sorry! Kick him in the nuts. I'll buy you steak! It'll be on me! In the nuts. You hear me? The very best! In the nuts. <gasps> steak? Okay, never mind. She's easily swayed by steak. My tofu. Oh, dump! Nah! I'm, I'm trying to be angry at you still for what you put me through. Don't do this to me! Yukiko, there's steak in it for us now. I'm easily swayed by cuteness, I've noticed. We can get instant noodles anytime we want, right? Well, as long as it isn't too fatty. Okay, we've reached a verdict. You are hereby sentenced to buying us steak. Is tofu any good? Oh, what wouldn't be too fatty? Uh, filet? Oh, filet sounds nice and expensive. And that's just rude. Filet, filet, filet mignon. You're a rude woman. Hey, you've got a pony up too. You're just as much to blame. Ah, I don't know about that. I mean, I, I do have like 27 grand on me, but let's not get into that. Grinding. It's lucrative. Man, talk about great timing. We just started serving grilled steak today. We're doing our part to spread this town's specialty dish. Plus, we've already got an excellent grill. That's just a yakisoba griddle. Oh, well, steak is steak. It's far from a filet steak, though. Yukiko, are you okay with this? It's not too heavy for you? I'll eat it. I'm still mad. <laughs> I'm trying to be angry, but she's stopping me from being angry at her. So, back on topic. I wonder what kind of person the culprit is. If you focus just on the announcer's case, it seems like a revenge thing. Maybe it was her lover's wife. Part of me still thinks it's the young detective. I don't know why, part of me just thinks that. Suzu Hiraki had a solid alibi, didn't she? And it, it seemed like she was already separated from her husband. Really? You know an awful lot about this. Okay, what about the second case? Saki-senpai. She found the announcer's body. Assuming the same person killed them both, then why target senpai? Because she found the body? They knew each other. I want to pick this just to see what the outcome is. Wait, you're saying Senpai and that Yamano lady knew each other? Senpai never told me anything like that. Maybe it was to keep her quiet? She could have noticed something that the culprit left at the scene. But the killer just threw the announcer into a TV, right? I don't think he would have left evidence the police, much less a high school student, would catch. Yeah, exactly. Man, I thought the countryside would be a snooze. But it's proving to be a lot more exciting than I thought. Oh, they updated the menu. Huh, isn't he that detective? Hey, you were at Dojima-san's. <laughs> I'm not. Oh, wait. Hey, this is great timing after all. Dojima-san said that he'll be leaving work on schedule tonight. Could you pass that on to Nanako-chan? Yo, I'm Adachi, Dojima-san's gopher. Uh, I mean, his partner. Are you this busy every day? Huh? Oh, well... The public seems to be getting a charge out of these cases, but we can't leave it at that. So 
sorry to butt in, but could it be that the killer targeted Saki-senpai in order to silence her? Um, sure get to the heart of the matter. Yikes. <laughs> of course, we're also thinking along those lines. She was killed right after the announcer's body was found. If the killer was trying to silence her, there might have been something at the scene only she would have understood. Which would mean that the culprit may be someone close to Miss Konishi. Nothing like that points to Misuzu Hiragi, so... Oh, I might have stumbled across something here. Wait, are you listening to all that? Crap, me and my big mouth. Okay, I like you, but part of me thinks you could be the guy. Uh, don't tell anyone I said any of that, or Dojima-san will flay me alive. <clears throat> Relax, kids. The police are on the job. See ya. Ah, oh, you were right, Yosuke. The police are totally useless. <gasps> ah, my steak's getting cold. Could you shut up about the steak for five seconds? No. No, the steak's the most important thing here. Why? Why? Why are we going back? Why are we going back? Jesus, no, wait, why? I just left. I just got out and you pulled me back in. She gonna get red glasses. Wow, this really is inside the TV. Let me save. It's Teddy, Then it wasn't a dream. Are you feeling better, Yuki-chan? I did what you said. I've been a good bear. Oh, I see. Good boy. <laughs> oh, well, this bear's part of the reason we want to find the culprit. I'm one of the group now, too. Let's work together, okay? Yep, I was thinking the same thing. That's why I got these ready for you, Yuki-chan. Oh, so these are what everyone's wearing. Thank you, Teddy. You're right. It's just as if the fog doesn't exist. Hey, tell me something. How come you have so many pairs of glasses? Yeah, he said he made them. How? Excellent question. Guess what? I'm the one who makes them! How? I've lived here for a long time, so I came up with some ways to be comfortable here. I see. But don't you need a pair? Ooh, good point! Another great question! Listen to this. My eyes themselves are lenses. You didn't know? You know what? I accept that. I accept that you're basically a a mascot costume that makes sense. Of course not. Why are you being so mean? You act like you're not interested. I'm a really dexterous bear. See how smoothly my fingers move? Push him. What am I even looking at? Push him. Ow! Eh, he's never a pair of glasses. Mm -hmm. You dropped something. Oh, that's a pair I kind of screwed up on. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, um, Yukiko? <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> do you like that one, Yuki-chan? I want to wear this one. It's even got a nose guard. Oh, oh no you don't. How very unfortunate. That pair doesn't have the right lenses in. Don't, don't with the puns. Guess I should have made an actual pair. 
Aw, too bad. Here, Chie, your turn. You're not the same person you were like days ago. You have fun. Ugh, you man. smile and laugh. Alright, fine. <laughs> See, you can laugh. And all it took was three days trying to kill your slutty inner self. Or your, your rebellious uh, inner self. How'd it come to this? Yukiko-san? Hello? There goes one of Yukiko's laughing fits. I never thought she'd do it when someone besides me was around. These stupid glasses are useless for investigating. I mean, what the hell's this nose for anyway? Nice work, huh? That's what happens when you guys leave me here alone and I get bored. Well, I'm glad that she's in high spirits again, I guess. <laughs> oh, Chie, the look on your face. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> I can't... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me save. Please. It's a half eleven. Well, it's, it's 25 past, but still. The fourth and the fifth. I think I might be able to get the fourth and fifth off. Really? Really? What, you don't believe me? It's always cancelled. Not every year. I know you wanted to go to Jeunesse, but I wouldn't mind going a little further out of the neighborhood. Really? <laughs> Can we go on a trip? Uh, well, it might be okay to go on a trip once in a while. I'm sure it'll be crowded everywhere, though. Yay! <laughs> We're going on a trip! Hmm. All right, all right. Then we need to think of some place to go. How about you? You want to come along with us? I don't see why not. <laughs> Looks like Nanako wants us all to go. Let's bring back lunches. Hmm? Yeah, good idea. We're always eating side dishes for dinner. But uh, I can't cook, and Nanako's not good enough yet to make them by herself. Well then. Guess who's cooking? Hmm. Well, it'll work out. That's what we got this guy for, huh, Nanako? Yay! Box lunches! Let me sleep. Let me sleep, game. Ah. Okay. Okay, save. Save. We're done. Ah, oh, God. Peace. We out. <laughs>